social media has its place in today's society. When it comes to a missing persons report or a child who has been abducted or has gone missing, it can definitely help and get the word out there and get eyes on the case. But today, we're going to take a look at the Summer Wells case out of Tennessee and the disappearance of Summer Wells and what the authorities have known, what they don't know as of June 15th when she vanished and just how much social media has played a positive role and also played a negative role in this case. First, let's get into the positives. In the positives in this case, it has definitely put eyes on a case where people have been on the lookout for anything they, you know, and put in tips for vehicles or anything that they have seen in and around the Wells family um, property on or before the date that she actually disappeared. It's also helped bring out volunteers, search parties to actually search the area because this is a dense wilderness area in and around the actual area where the Wells family home is. That's the positive, getting the word out and aiding in putting together search parties. The negative, there have been thousands of tips that have come in from, well, basically crazy people. On top of the crazy people and the crazy tips have been psychics, clairvoyants, and others who say that they can help find her if they are just able to touch something of her personal property. And each and every one of these tips and leads has overwhelmed the local authorities because these tips have been coming from as far away as Spain. And these people are not in the area. They don't know anything about the actual case, but yet the authorities have to trace down each and every one of these tips. And for every minute that they spend tracking down tips, theories, and speculation that they have been given is a minute that they are not out there actually trying to find Summer Wells. I have been asked on multiple occasions since June 15th if I would get involved, report on this case, and help aid in the actual discovery and get the information out there for you, the viewers. I have steadfastly to this point stayed out of it. I wanted the authorities to not be overwhelmed any more than they were until there was anything positive, factual to actually cover on this case. I wanted to stay out of it. But today I'm going to address just a few things that I feel are important that we need to understand. First off, when it comes to child abductions, less than 1% of all children in America, and this counts for Alaska and Hawaii as well, less than 1% of all children abductions are committed by a stranger. I know mass media out there in t television movies, you know, in certain cable networks like Lifetime Network have really pushed forth the idea of stranger abductions, but less than 1% of the hundreds of thousands of missing children cases that come across the FBI database and the Center for Missing and Exploited Children desk every single year, ladies and gentlemen, less than 1% are ever committed by a stranger. When it comes to child abductions, most child abductions are happen by somebody who actually knows the child, who the child themselves know. They're willing to go with them because they know them, they trust them. They are a family friend, a family member, or a close associate to the family. Now, this doesn't mean in the Summer Wells case that the mother or the father or an uncle or anyone in particular is responsible for the disappearance of Summer Wells. Matter of fact, there is no evidence at all that points to anyone in the family 
as being responsible for the disappearance of Summer Wells. At this point, the authorities don't know if Summer Wells just simply walked out the back door, the basement door, where she was downstairs in the basement of the home plane. They don't know if she just walked out the door and got lost and something happened. Maybe she fell, broke her leg, was knocked unconscious, or even worse. In this area, there are several places in the actual mountains there where she could have gotten lost and would never find her way back. She could be as simple as 200 yards from the home and nobody would ever know. That's how dense and thick of a forest area she lives in. There are several homesteads that used to be on the property, homes that were built back in the early 1800s that have wells in the area. On top of that, there are natural caves in the area where she could have crawled into to seek shelter. Again, the authorities don't know. They don't know what happened to Summer Wells. And at this point, to speculate to say that there was a red Tacoma pickup truck that was seen in the area and called that in hundreds of times as a tip to the tip line, to the TBI find, 1-800-TBI find, is wrong because there is no evidence that a red Tacoma pickup truck was ever actually seen anywhere on the family road that leads to their home. Another issue that would directly hamper any type of child abduction be the topography of the actual home. The Wells family home is up on top of a large hill and a long, windy, twisty road you need to take to get up to the actual home. So if she was out in the yard playing, a stranger driving by would not have seen her. You would have to actually travel that area and know that area and know that there were people there to, who lived it down that road before you could ever even get close. Now, I'm not saying that a child abduction in this case, in, you know, situation did not occur. We, again, this dense wooded area around the family home hampers the search areas. And you could go through the same wooded area two, three times and miss an obvious sign that she had come through there. Weather, for the most part, has been you know, in the favor of search parties. So that hasn't been really an issue in this case. But we don't know. We don't know if somebody took her. We don't know what happened, but we know this much. At this point, neither the mother nor the father are suspects in the disappearance of Summer Wells. No forensic evidence has been found on the pro family property, camper, home, or outbuildings that says anything happened to Summer Wells there on the property. All we can do is pray and hope for the best. To dispel, some rumors surrounding the Summer Wells disappearance. And I have, yes, I have seen the videos on YouTube, the Reddit posts and the Facebook groups that have been talking and sharing these, this information. And there is, and I wanna be absolutely clear, the Sheriff's Department and Police Department and local law enforcement agencies, along with the TBI, have not indicated anywhere at any time that there was forced entry into the home or any window of the home, the camper, or the outbuildings on the property. There is no evidence at all at this point that Summer had left, walked out of the home and to an outbuilding or camper, which are you know, pretty close in proximity to the home, that somebody forced their way in with some kind of uh, you know, leverage device, crowbar, screwdriver, whatever, to get in to get her, nor is there any evidence on any window or any door of the actual home. These are just lies, ladies and gentlemen. Again, second thing that I wanted to misspell, there was absolutely no call, no letter, nothing that said that she was being kidnapped for ransom or for any other opportunity meaning that she was kidnapped in exchange for something or in retaliation 
against his family. This family is a pillar in their actual church at the Seventh-day Adventist church. They have three other little boys plus Summer, and none of them have ever had any other you know, allegations of abuse. There's no abuse allegations to any of these children. These are two loving parents. So that is the third thing that I want to misspell, that there have been allegations of molestation or that there have been allegations of abuse against the children in this household. These are just lies. You can search these records for yourself by contacting the county clerk's office there to see if any filings have ever happened against the Wells family or the Bly family, B-L-Y-S, Bly's, Bly. Search all three of those. Nothing. No allegations ever. No court filings ever. <clears throat> and lastly, the last rumor I want to misspell is a rumor that was actually started by, unfortunately, someone we believe to be a member of 4chan that screams from a child could have could be heard by a witness on June 15th in the afternoon hours near the Wells family home. There are no witnesses at all. There are no reports of a scream of a child that happened anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a troll, someone who's trolling the community on that Facebook group. And yes, this was then picked up by Reddit and by YouTube creators, but there's no actual factual evidence to support any of that. No witness, no reports to the police department of any child scream heard on or around the 15th of June. So here we are. What do we know today? Summer Wells is missing. This sweet little girl deserves to be home with her mother and father, people who love her, her family loves her and wants her back. If you can aid in actual search, you know, it, that it will be happening this coming weekend, please do so. If you live in the area, pray for Summer Wells and pray for her family that she is able to come home soon and unharmed. Thank you for joining me today. And you have a terrific weekend and stay safe out there.